Okay, so today we have the MDS-12V. Uh, this is the V-Drum stand with the TD-30K um, and TD-30K SE. So this is pretty much as you get it out of the box, apart from you need to just pop on your clamps uh, in the relevant places where your pads are. Uh, but this is pretty much as it comes out of the box. So this is set up uh, for a right-handed player out of the box. Your module usually goes on the left, snare on the left, uh, everything else then follows. So today we're going to go through with how to set this up for left-handed players. So we're going to begin with removing the rubber feet off each of the vertical columns. Uh, you can see we've already done that. Just to let you know, they are quite tight so you might need to give it a good pull. Generally we find pop your feet on the bottom, give it a good pull and it should be as simple as that. Um, so that's the first step in the process. The next one is to undo this bolt here by hand. You can undo that and we're going to swing this around here. So we leave it like that for now. If we come to this side, same case, we undo this one. And the reason why we took the feet off earlier on was so we can just take that shred out like that. Just put that to the side. So as you can see what we're doing here, we're literally just going to flip this around so it's, it's inverted the other way around. There is another way, um, you know, you would assume that you could just flip each side around. Unfortunately, that's not the case because you've got the loom cable running through. So this is the way to do it. So here we go. We're just going to drop that down. Do that a bit. And we're going to take that off there. And as simple as swap it around the other way so you can see now that's coming around like this let's just tighten that back up so it stays there and you'll already notice these are now upside down we'll, we'll come to that later on now we're gonna pop this back in there tighten that back up so yeah let's just flip that round so that's that side done so now moving to the left hand side um, usually what I find is best is just take these out of the equation so there's just less things to get in the way so simply undo those pop them to the side right so these um, clamps here for the, the main central bar, um, if you want to undo those, and what we want to do is basically flip it over the other way around. So that and does like that. So that comes away. And the same here. So they're basically mirrored either end. So yeah, you might want a second person here just to hold the, the frame for you and so what I've done I've taken it like that and popped it round the other way so that's fine there let's do that back up that's in place and we're now going to bring this side back around and attach that there so that's our central bar flipped around the right way. So we're now going to move on to the left hand side. And this is just the last bit. Um, what we're going to need is your drum key. So this is included with the manual, all in with the paperwork. And we need to undo these drum bolts. So this one here, which holds your snare stand that just secures it in place. We're going to undo that. And as we've done earlier on, we've taken the feet away. So everything slide down and you can pop it off the end same with the snare stand let's bring that down and take that off so let's just put these to the side and keep hold of the memory log this is this is vital you, you need to keep all of that safe so now we've taken our snare stand off we want to undo this with our hand that one there and also the metal one that was on our center column so we just want to make it loose we do want to take the clamp off for now but we want to slide this straight up out of there. Again, you just might want a second person to hand just to hold the frame in place for you. So let's undo that. Make 
make sure it's loose enough to come out. There we are. Let's pop that there. And also with this one here, we want to take off that and put that aside. So it's just a case now of flipping that around the other way. Make sure your cables are over nicely. And let's bring back there we are. And slide that down at your hands and tighten that back up. So what we're gonna do is just bring that round. So you know, starting to see the shape of the kit in this left-handed form. Tighten these back up. All the cables, perfect. Didn't have to mess around with those. And let's pop our last leg in. This is the side where the module would sit. Pop that there. Tighten these back up. And you can now, you know, you can see it come into shape for the left-handed position. So the cables in the right place. See on there. And what I do, so this is your snare bracket. Obviously, we're going to put this back on here. So just tighten that back up. And that memory lock that we had earlier on, that just secures the bracket from slipping down. We're going to put that back on there as well. And that tightens back up with that drum key that we've got, so that's all secure. And our Tom Clancy familiar on the ones we just took off, to make sure they didn't get in the way. We're going to pop these back on, so the two sit on the crossbar here. Obviously, angles, things like that, it's all personal preference, so. There's no right or wrong way, so this is just the general position that they want to be in. And then, last but not least, are our rubber feet. So it's just a case of popping these back on, on all your vertical columns, applying your pads, putting your cymbals on, mounting your model here. That is then exactly the same process as it would be for a right-handed player obviously just in in the relevant places so i hope this helps this is how to set up an mts 12v for left-handed players